today we are going to talk about the cross part of the liver now the shape of the liver is almost wedge shape okay now it's concerned the borders that is present this border that is present here this border is known as a inferior border then after that you will have the one more borders that is present this border which is present here this border is known as a posterior superior borders one more borders that is present here this border is known as a posterior inferior borders now between this borders there is a pressure of the surfaces this surfaces that is present here this surface is known as the anterior surfaces the surfaces that is present to the lateral area this portion is known as the right lateral surfaces when you go to the posterior area there is a pressure of the surfaces which is known as the posterior surfaces when you go in between the posterior and inferior borders and the inferior borders there is a present this surface that is present this surface is known as the inferior surfaces or the visceral surfaces now we move on to the detail of the surfaces that is present here this portion is known as the anterior surfaces the anterior surfaces consist of two lobes that is the right lobe and the left lobe of the liver within this anterior surfaces you can see there is a present ligament that is present this ligament is known as the falciform ligament and you can see this border is known as the inferior borders and this inferior border is not straight there is a present notch that is present this notch this is the notch for the ligament that is present this ligament is known as the ligamentum teres when you go to the superior part of it there is a present this ligament which is known as the falciform ligament the falciform ligament consists of the two leaves that is two layers that is present here when you move upwards you can see there is a present one more ligament that is present this ligament is known as a coronary ligament the coronary ligament consists of the two layers that is the upper layer and the inferior layer this portion is known as a upper layer and this portion is known as a, this portion is known as a lower layer or the lower layer of the coronary ligament then after that this get joined together and forms the one more ligament that is present this is a triangular in shape this ligament is known as a right triangular ligament when you go to the left side there is a present of the two leaves of the coronary ligament start to get merged and forms the one more ligament that is present here this ligament which is known as the left triangular ligament then move on to the posterior surfaces that is present this area is known as a posterior surfaces within this posterior surfaces you can see there is a present lobe that is present this lobe this lobe is known as a caudate lobe within the right side of the caudate lobe there is a present of the groove for this structure which is known as inferior vena cava this is known as a groove for the inferior vena cava within that you can see there is a present this vein which is known as a inferior uh, vena cava then after to the left side there is a present groove or the fissure for the ligamentum venosus within that there is a present ligament that ligament is known as a ligamentum venosus when you go move on to this area this portion is known as a visceral surfaces within this visceral surfaces there is a present lobe that is present this lobe is known as a quadrangular shape and this lobe is known as a quartet lobe towards the left side you can see there is a groove or the fissure for the ligamentum teres towards the right side you can see there is a present of the gall bladder which is located in the fossa this is known as a fossa for the gall bladder and within that there is a present impression that is present here now this is the right lobe of, sorry this is the left lobe of the liver and this is the right lobe of the liver in the left lobe of the liver there is a impression that is present this is known as a gastric area impression and you can see there is a present swelling that is present this portion is known as a tuber omentalis when you move to this area in the right side of the liver there is a present impression that will present towards this area this impression is known as a duodenal impression when you move to this area there is a present the impression that is present that there is a impression that is present that is known as a renal impression that is a right lobe of the as a right liver as a right renal the right kidney and the suprarenal gland will form the impression to this posterior to this gall bladder area there is a present this the tree structure that is present this tree structure is known as a portal tract within that there is a present the vein that is known as a hepatic vein and artery along with that there is a sorry hepatic vein, vein hepatic artery and the portal vein along with that there is a present the bile duct this whole area is known as a portal tract and this finishes the cross part of the liver